Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. Oops, I did it again. Yes, I went back to my Dollar Tree and found some more items. And um, some of them are new, some of them are repeats, and some of them are for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let me show you what I got. Um, I'm going to start off with this three-piece double hairband scunchie set. I didn't know it was a three piece until I was sitting here reading it. I thought it was just this, but no, it comes with three pieces. So why don't we go ahead and rip this thing open and let's see what it comes with. And it comes with something weird. What in the name is that? What is that? See that? It's Velcro-y. It's on both sides and it's a little bump. And it comes with a hair tie. I guess I can probably read the directions, but heaven forbid if I do that, right? And it comes with the headband. So, let's see here. So I guess that's the look that we're looking for. So, I guess that foam thing is for... Is it sticking? Hey, it's sticking. But I, I guess that's for your bun. Let's just try this on. I guess you can go for that look. <laughs> Different. Ugh. I know I'm going to totally do this wrong. Oh, you got to... This looks complicated. Okay. We're just going to... We're going to feather over some hair off over this... really weird. Oh, here it is. I'm like, hey, what did I do with the headband? So, okay, so you put, okay, we're doing this together, and this is awkward, because I'm doing it in a, okay, really? Is that, would you seriously go out in public like that? It's like I have a beehive on my head. I guess if I, I don't know. I mean, I can't see the side view, but does that look like something? It is this style. Is, hmm. I don't know. Unless do I not have it right? I mean, that looks really weird. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it, but I guess that gives you an idea. Okay, this isn't, this isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, so let's fix this rat's nest now. I don't know, I just spent three minutes showing you the, this weird hair device. So, okay, next thing. This is another scunchy brand. Um, some no slip grip, all day hold, eight piece set. So let's. Oh, wow, those things are strong. So strong, I can't even get it off. So let's see. She has her hair kind of pulled to the side. So let's do a little... I didn't know this was going to be a hair tutorial. So I'm sorry if I'm boring you with my hair. It's kind of hard to do in the phone. Doesn't look like a good clip to me. Maybe I just don't have it in right. I don't know. Let's go deeper on the scalp. A little bit better. So, I don't know about no slip. It doesn't feel very secure. Maybe I just have too much hair pulled up. I probably do. But this will be good like for Ava's hair or someone that has thin hair. So yeah, get that. Um, the last hair thing were the six piece um, scunchy thingies. Um, I've hauled the bigger ones, but now they have small ones, and they come with a pink, purple, navy, green, gray, and black. So that's cool. I picked those up. Um, I got some stickers. Um, I seen these last year, and they had so many different ones to choose from, but I was just drawn to the um, puppy pandas. You get 80 of them by Ja. Ja, you rock. Yes, how adorable are 
those. Got those, and I got some of these hearts. You get 120 of them. These will be perfect to decorate cards and packages with, and they come in four different sizes. So I got those. Um, Beth, I think it was you. You wanted some of these decals. I did find another one for you. This is the Sweet and Strong. So I will put that with your stuff. Also, I think you're the one also that wanted the self-adhesive stencils by Jot. I found three more. If it's not you, Beth, and it's someone else, but I will double check on my list. But this is the one that I used for quite a few of my DIYs. I love these, I love these, I love these. If you see these in your Dollar Tree, I suggest you pick them up because these are so much better than the ones that you would find at Hobby Lobby, Michael's Joann Fabrics. These are amazing for only a dollar. I got you this one and I got you this one and I know I've done some DIYs with this design as well. And I think there's about eight or nine different ones. So I did pick those up. I bought this Valentine's card for my husband. It says happy Valentine's to you and it has just different tickets that he can use. And then inside it's pretty simple. So I really love their cards. That was a dollar. And then I did buy more of the puffy stickers and you get 53 of these and they're doggies and kitties. And look at that one right there. Too cute. They got so many to choose from. I did buy five more sets of the batteries, but um, I have three left because I already opened the two to put in my lights. I know some of you are asking about my um, lights here. I bought these sets at Costco. Um, they have timers on them. They also have a remote. Um, see, I can turn it off and turn it on. But it looks like it's flickering, but it's really not. And they were only 20 bucks. And I think you got four, four of the candles and you got like 16 batteries or 24 batteries and the remote. So if I want them off, turn them off, turn them off. So yeah. That's what I use these batteries for. And I always stock up when they have the bonus pack. So I found those. Um, a shovel. <sighs> I'm not using this for dirt. I'm not using it to dig. It's going to be my pooper scooper. Yes, I don't know where my shovels go. Um, but yes, these are perfect to pick up a doo-doo in your backyard. So I picked out the green. They had three different colors, but I wanted green. Um, I did find another pair of the boot socks. This is the Mid-Calf by No Nonsense, made in the USA. These are the green ones. <sighs> this is the bucket that was, I seen in one of my videos that it's, they had flowers spelt weird. It was like F-L-O-U-R or something. I don't know, it was just weird. But I did pick up this long one that I'm going to use to decorate. Um, I bought a pack, or I should say a jar of these floral gel beads. Um, I have an idea what I'm going to use these for. This is an 11.4 ounce. These are the clear ones. They also have purple and, I don't know, some other colors to choose from, but I just went with the clear. Um, I bought a stack, yes, a stack of these Hampton Art. Um, I know there's one complete set in here, and I have some duplicates of colors. I have to go through the list of people that wanted these. Um, so I did pick up all of these, um, for a lot of you that are searching for them. There's just so many to choose from. Well, there's eight total, but I'm not going to go through all these because I'm sure you've seen other people haul them. So I did buy a huge stack of them. So I got to go through them and go through the names and contact you. Okay. My nose is starting to run. I had to get my little man some more Gatorade. I always get a Gatorade there for him and he likes the blue. So I got him the blue one. I won't go into detail with that. I found this huge 12 ounce jar of polar banana pepper rings. Great value for only a buck. Yes. Um, I picked up this um, like stone slate plat. It says fake. And it's got the red ladybug. I thought that was really cute. And I went ahead and got the stepping stone to match. And it says, welcome each new day with love. That's all you can do, right? Start your day out with love and faith. And it should be a good day. Um, I had to get another frog last year. I bought the other two frogs and I did not see this one last year. So I needed this one. I'm just worried about water getting in there and like little critters will get in there and make a little home out of my frog's mouth. But anyway, I picked up the frog. Um, I bought the other three packs of these for my little fairy garden. 
This is the other pack. I, I think I have them all now, but I don't know, maybe not. And then we have that pack. And I do suggest that when you see these and you want them, do not put them off. Grab them because when they're gone, they are gone. I learned that last year. Um, I bought two more of the mushroom. I just love these things. If you ask my kids, I love mushrooms. These kind of mushrooms. Like stylish mushrooms. Um, I bought this little tree house. I just love the detail on these for only a dollar. Just amazing. Um, I bought this little, um, what are these called? Not gazebo. I can't remember what these little things are called. I a brain fart. Go figure, right? And then I bought the little bridge. This one's a little bit different from last year. And then we have a bench. Actually, it's made out of, you know, wood with a little butterfly. So I got that one. And then the welcome with the little mushrooms and flowers and the ivy going up. I mean, it's such great detail on those. Um, what else did I get? Is that everything? I sure hope so because my foot's falling asleep. Oh my gosh, I can't feel my toes. Um, so yes, that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree today. So I hope you enjoyed it and I was able to show you something that maybe you can go out and find at one of your Dollar Trees. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give it a saggy thumbs down. I don't care. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, why don't you go ahead and click onto that little subscribe button because I do try to post as much as I can throughout the week. So I thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Bye. Okay, so this is gonna be part two of my smiling mail and q and A. I'm gonna have to do a third part because there's just so much to go through. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right. This card is from Debbie. So thank you, Debbie, for the Valentine's card. Um, here is a card from Miss Haley. Haley. Hope you're doing well, Haley. I do think about you often. She sent some really cute stickers and a really adorable card. I'm so glad that my videos can make you smile and keep you company when you need it. I hope you're doing well. And we have a card here from Barbara. And I do believe she sent a picture, which I love receiving your guys' picture because I can put it up on my board. So thank you, Barbara, for including a picture of yourself so I can add that to my smiley board. And thank you for the card. Um, this one is from another Debbie. Told you I have a lot of Debbie and Diane's. A very beautiful, beautiful card. And no hurries on the shirt, sweetie. So I think it's her son and granddaughter that race um, monster trucks. So I think that's really cool. I love how you decorated that. So that's cool that women are doing that as well. Awesome. Um, this card is from Connie. Thank you for the adorable card, Connie. So I have that. Um, I might as well just go ahead and go through all these cards real quick. Um, there's three cards here from uh, Debbie. They're all three the same, so I'll just show you the one. So thank you, Debbie, for that. Um, I have a card here from Rosa. I won't open it. Oh, I'm not, not going to take it out, but this is from you, Rosa. I have a card here from Margarita, which is super cute, so thank you for that. Um, this is from Virginia. Um, it is a couple, a letter, so I have that, so thank you. Um, this is from Vivian, so thank you for the card, Vivian. Um, this one is from Trina, which is so cute, and I that is from Trina, so thank you for that. And yes, all your guys' names go in the giveaways. I got another card here from Melissa, so thank you, Melissa, for that. And then we have a card from Wanda. Fish called Wanda. I bet you hear that a lot, don't you? Super cute. Great job on that. Um, I have a letter here from Maribel. Um, I have not seen the love signs anymore. I've only seen them that one time and I've never seen them again. But if I do find them, I will pick them up for you and I will let you know. Um, this is from Liz. She included a picture of her little fur baby and it's absolutely adorable. Look at her baby. So cute. Thank you for sending me that. I will add that to my smiley board as well. And I have one more card here. And this is from Erica Tanner Sanitago. I do believe that is your last name. 
with your husband Max and your dad and I think it's your mom too. You guys are just awesome. When I get their cards, it's just full of stickers and uh, messages and it's just awesome. Um, trying to see it. Erica, Max, um, your dad, which I'm, that's awesome that you watch me and I'm glad I can make you smile. And if I do find the spatulas, I think I have an extra one. If I do, I will be sending it your way, but I will keep an eye out at my Dollar Trees and hoping maybe I can bump into them once again. So I'm just so glad that all of you are such awesome fans of my channel. I appreciate your love and support that you um, Kathleen wants to know what are the ages of your animals? Well, Ruby is the senior citizen. She is nine years old. I got her when she was six weeks old. Miss Ella May, she is eight years old and I got her when she was 12 weeks old. And Miss Josie Jo, um, she is three years old and I got her when she was eight weeks old. None of them are related. Ella came from Michigan. Um, Miss Ruby came from Indianapolis and Miss Bossy Jojo came from um, Ohio. She was expensive, um, but well worth it. If you know anything about French Bulldogs, you know they cost a lot. But since we did not want breeding rights, because I have never bred my dogs, they've all been fixed at a very young age, um, they knocked off $3,200 because I didn't want her papers. Uh, and um, the ages of my kids, if you are new and you have not been following me for very long, I have five kids. You mainly only see Prince Charming over here that's sleeping, Alex, and um, Ava. I have five kids. I have Adeline Ellen that is 21 years old. I have Samantha Marie that is 19 years old. I have Grace Leanne that is 16 years old. I have Ava Noel that is 11 and Alexander Matthew is eight. Um, your next question is what grade are they in? Well, um, Addie went to college for one year for nursing. Um, then she decided to take a break. Right now she is a bank teller and she will be going back to college soon. Um, to get um, to furthermore her career of nursing. She has worked in nursing homes and that and in home health care as well. Um, let's see, um, Sammy, she graduated early. Um, she is going to college this year to be a vet tech. She wanted to be a veterinarian ever since she was three years old, but once she got older and realized how much school that was going to take, she decided to wean herself into vet tech and then go from there. Um, Gracie is a sophomore in high school and she just got her learner's permit last week. So I am teaching her how to drive. <sighs> yes, I know. Um, Ava Noel is in fifth grade and Alex is in third grade. Um, Gracie does have a job. Um, she works at a, um, restaurant. And let's see, uh, Sammy right now is a receptionist. So those are those questions. Um, uh, they do all live at home except Adeline, my oldest. She lives with her boyfriend, Alex, and they only live about five minutes down the road along with my mom. So my family is close. And Ella, if you scratch at that pillow one more time, girl, I'm gonna pluck your hair. She doesn't even care. My brand new pillow, couldn't be the other pillows. No, it had to be that pillow. Um, also, I answered that one. Um, what is my husband's occupation? I think I answered that. Um, he is a motorsports underwriter for insurance. So when you go to the monster trucks or if you go see boat races or motorcycle jumps or any of that kind of stuff, most likely he insures that. So that's what he does. He's been doing that for over 20 years. He's a very, very smart, handsome man. So those are my Q and A and my smiley meal, I apologize that it's this long, but I just wanted to get it all in. If you have any more questions for me, go ahead and comment down below. I'll write them down and I'll probably just answer one or two in my videos. And I'll probably um, just stick it in my box over here and just draw a question so I can answer it. So I thank you all for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Be sure you click on the that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.
it is Sunday and that means it's giveaway time. I have Ava here. She's going to be drawing a name out of the box. This is going to be for a $5 gift card to the Dollar Tree. So Ava, turn around. You know the drill. Give it one more stir there. Just dig around. Got one. And the winner is Marita Rosetta. Rosetto, you are the winner of the $5 gift card. So you have 48 hours to just comment down below that you've seen this video and I will get this out to you in the mail. On March 16th, this will be the next giveaway. So if you want to be entered into these giveaways, I will list all the directions down below and I wish you all the very much luck. So I thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Keep smiling.